Yeah, so here he is. Here we're live in Richmond. Senator Norman, I mean, a lot of people are really hurt tonight by your involvement with this racist yearbook. What is your response to that? Well, first of all, I'm very sorry that a lot of people are hurt. Uh, it's interesting to me the transition that's gone on with the crisis that started in the executive branch. Uh, there's nothing in that yearbook of a picture of me with a black or brown face. There's no racial epitaph attributed to me. There's nothing in there other than the fact that I was part of a seven-person management team for a yearbook that was created in 1968. But as part of the management team, I mean, do you feel that you should be taking responsibility for the contents of what's in that yearbook? I think I have to take accountability is because I was part of the management team. It, my responsibilities just did not fall in the area of uh, editing photographs or editing that which was written. Uh, my responsibility was to see that the assignments that people were given, that they completed them on time. I was sort of like a first sergeant. Uh, and other people made the assignments and did the editing. But I was part of the management team and I accept that part of, of responsibility. Um, and the perspective of today, it, it is absolutely unacceptable and, and it's reprehensible and I'm sorry that, that people are hurt. And that's the other question. I mean, the GOP has called for top Democrats to step down saying racism has no place in the Commonwealth. But I mean, you know, being in control of a yearbook that has a lot of racial slurs in it, do you think you should step down? Absolutely not. First of all, I wasn't in control of, of the yearbook. I was part of a seven-person management team. Secondly, you have not heard a word out of me and most of my Republican senators uh, editorializing any comments about the executive branch and who should step down and who should not. And I've repeatedly said to the media today, that is not my decision. That is the decision uh, that the three members of the executive branch have to make. And not in a defensive posture, but my situation is dramatically different than what they are confronted with. I am in a situation by association. I accept that. But as far as any active overt act that I did, it doesn't exist. Okay, Senator Norman, thank you so much. Guys, that's the latest here in Richmond. Back to you. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. And just a little bit of background about what she was talking about. That was Senate Majority Leader Tommy Norman, and he was in charge of VMI's 1968 yearbook. Well, that edition included some racist photos and some racial slurs as well. So 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller gives us a closer look inside that yearbook. Well, Janet, let's show you what we're talking about. This right here, this is the 1968 VMI yearbook. It's called The Bomb. Here, you see the page that has has Senate Majority Leader Tommy Norman. He is the Republic Senate, Senate Majority Leader who represents part of our area as well. And here, right here, you see that he is listed as that year's managing editor. And scrolling through the book's pages, you're gonna get some more controversial things. Page 122 shows a group of men in costumes. You see one of them right here is in blackface. It's not the only photo that's drawing scrutiny. On page 82 here, you see a photo of two men holding holding a football. They are both in blackface. Some of the language used is also drawing scrutiny. A blurb under one man's photo says he was known as the barracks Jew, having his fingers in the finances of the entire corps. The N word is used along with two derogatory terms for Asian people. And of course, we will continue to follow these developments as they unfold. Laura Geller, 13 News Now.